Welcome to the tutorial. This tutorial is about change log widget. And see, I'm dragging and dropping the widget. Nothing is showing. Don't worry. If you want to show the change log, first of all, you have to make URL like this. I'm just copying and pasting. And see the change log. If you want to get uh, change log like this, you have to uh, write code following the Markdown editor coding format. As you see in the notepad, and this is a Markdown coding format. You can follow this coding style. There is another option, cast the file. If you enable this switcher button, this button will help you to uh, cache the design for a certain period and you can edit the time. Now go to style tab so that you can add style to the content, I mean change log. And see the change log sections. On the title tab there is color palette. I click on the palette and uh, choose the color for title as I'm doing on the text tab go to the text tab and set color for text and see the text color is being changed use spacing so that you can Add space between button and text. Now come to list spacing so that you can add space between the list. As you see, there is typography. And click on the typography, and here you will be able to set font, font size, font width transform style line height and letter spacing you can check it out i'm not showing you then come to the add sections and there is color background border type and border radius click on the color palette and i'm selecting color look the button text color is being changed Now I'm clicking on background color palette and I'm selecting color. Look the button background color also has changed. If you want to add the border so that you can uh, go to border type and select solid, double, dotted, dashed or group. I'm selecting double. If you want, you can add the border width. There is the options for you to add color to the border. Now go to border radius and give the value. Except additions, there is fixed, updated, note, removed, language, and changed button. As you see, in terms of added button, you can go similar way for added background color, text color, border radius, and uh, typography for rest of the button. I mean fixed, updated, note, removed, language are and changed if you need more support about a change log you can visit our knowledge page there you will find full documentation on change log i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial please don't forget to like and share our video